Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm back with another layout using the March Scraptastic kit. This is the 13th layout using this kit. It took me an hour and two minutes to complete. I'm showing you some of the stuff that I might be using on this layout. Some Amy Tangerine stickers, some die cuts, all that stuff came from the kit. Some transparencies, the little studio calico stars. I'm going to use that uh, love pattern paper from the Amy Tangerine plus one collection. I'm going to use it as my background and I'm going to mount my photo on some black cardstock. And what I did was I just went to look for a scrap because I didn't want to cut into, you know, that 12 by 12 cardstock. I always have tons of leftovers everywhere. So I didn't want to cut into a new sheet. I want to keep it so that I could use it as a background someday. So now I'm going to look into my scraps to see what other scraps of pattern papers I have left. And basically um, that's all I have left. I have a few full sheets that are left, but I found there was um, some pattern papers just don't coordinate with the others. And I mean, that's fine at some point, you know, like you just use them on separate layouts and I think the biggest thing for me is because I mix all four kits together so let's say there was two kits that were supposed to be together and then two other ones I just put the four of them together and that's the main reason why some of the pattern papers don't co coordinate with everything but that's fine I'd rather have the big you know um, a lot more choices I guess and I'll, I'll work through it. I'll work through um, those papers that are sort of just have a few that coordinate with each other. And even if I have to, you know, pull something from my stash to make it work, I will. I'm at that point. There was one pattern paper from Basic Gray Capture and it's that nice polka dot like in, um, in the light pink. And I can't, I don't have anything else that'll coordinate with it. I've used it all up. So I'm going to go through my stash and find stuff to, to use that pattern paper because I love it and I want it to end up on my page. I'm going to ink all the edges in black with black soot from Ranger Tim Holtz or Tim Holtz for Ranger. And then I'm going to mount the whole thing and I'm still having trouble with my ATG. I can't wait for this roll to be done and uh, put a new one in. It's, it's giving me grief. And I've even tried like cutting it and restarting it over again and it's still doing it. So I don't know what's going on. And I'm going to use some of that arrow paper that also came in the kit. I use that transparency of the hearts. Then that little black and white kind of curly Q uh, pattern paper that was actually a three by four card uh, from the Amy Tangerine Plus One collection. I had kind of taken out a three by four, uh, a full 12 by 12, by 12, but it had three by four cards in it. And I cut them up and I kept them around so that I could use them on the layouts just to add extra stuff. That little camera paper is also from the Amy Tangerine Plus One collection. And I wanted this page to be pink, white, and black. So that's the colors that I brought in. Uh, mostly it's those colors. And again, because I wanted to use the Amy Tangerine word stickers or word thickers. So I wanted to bring in some black so that it um, had a reason for it to be there. I cut out some hearts from that Amy Tangerine. It had some black hearts, kind of cross hatch and yellow hearts. And again, that I pulled the second sheet from my stash because I ran out of this, the sheet from the Scraptastic kit. And I cut out three hearts. Now I'm detail cutting those little cameras. Again, from the Amy Tangerine Plus One collection. So while I'm gathering some, you know, um, embellishments to do my cluster, I just want to let you know, if you're on my Facebook group, today is uh, May 9th. This won't upload till the, like the 12th. But on May 9th, I 
sort of did a catch up. I was finally feeling better. I could like, actually open my eye and and not feel like I want to rip it out of my head. And uh, so I caught up on my site. And oh my goodness, you guys must have been tired of seeing my stuff popping up. But I just wanted to, I hadn't uploaded any of the pages that I had done in like 12 days or something like that. Plus I went to two peas in a bucket, cherry on top, like all the places where I upload my photos and uploaded all that there. It took me two hours to get everything done. So I'm so glad that is done. That was weighing on my mind. I knew that I had to do it because I was falling behind. And um, so it's done. I can, you know, wash my hands of it. It's it's done because I, I know that some people like to see still pictures and on the video it's kind of hard to see so I like to upload at all those different places so that people have a chance to look at the layout and not everyone is on my Facebook group so I just want to make sure that it's out there and this is where I um, use that thickers from Amy Tangerine and so I use the word love that was on the page and then I use the word happen and then XOXO and this is a picture of my son and my daughter and um, what I'm going to talk about on this layout is when she was because he he was born when she was six so when she found out that I was pregnant she was like there's no ifs ands or but it's a little brother and there's no other choices that's what it is and I kept saying to her like what if it's a little girl it's not a little girl we already have two and we need a little brother and there was no I don't I don't know what I would have done if it would have been a little boy or a little girl because she didn't want to hear anything of it she wanted a little brother and that was the end of the story and um she has been a second mom to him ever since he was born she wanted to know how to you know she helped change his bum she helped watch him watch him and even now as a young adult she still you know takes care of her her little brother and um so I just wanted to document that and it was just like you know it just made me think of you know love happens like the minute she found out that I was pregnant it was a little boy and he was just it was like he was a little doll for her you know she was just she was playing mommy and um, she really is a good sister to him so what I did what I love to do is I love to use my stamp and block I put a little bit of dot adhesive on it and then so it doesn't move around and then I color the wood veneer with my white hero arts dauber because I find if you color directly with Copic or any other colors, the and the same thing with chalkboard, um, not chalkboard, cork, um, it'll come through. But if you put a little bit of a coat of white on it, then it um, covers it, and then it's you get better coverage. And I think because of the heat gun me using the heat gun it was warming up the glue and it was making the butterflies fly all over the place anyway I don't think I put enough glue on and all I need to do is just as soon as I'm done just take a baby wipe and wipe it up and if there's some residue I just take the back of my ruler like a metal ruler and I just scrape it off and it comes off really you know it comes out really well So now I added more this to that dot adhesive and now I'm going to put some liquid glass on my layout. And that is the same thing as, and I keep forgetting that and I don't know why, it just doesn't want to stay in my head, glossy accent. And um, I just have a bottle from close to my heart because it's my newer one. And I find my glossy accent kind of clogs up. I should just use it and finish it. It's about, there's only about a quarter left, but you know how it is when you're scrapping, you don't want to stop and fuss with stuff. You're going to take the easy, easy route out. <laughs> and this works really, really well. It's new and it, you know, flows out really well. And where the um, the wings of those butterflies were so intricate too. The other stuff is a little thicker because it's older 
and it wouldn't have covered the the butterfly as well and what I did too was I used my my tool my we are memory keeper tool and if the liquid glass was going in between the wings I was just taking my poker tool and I was kind of removing where it was falling into the cracks and it worked really well so it's going to take me a few minutes to get uh, those all cleared up but in the end it's really worth it it looks really cute I love adding liquid accent or glossy accent to wood veneers like that it really makes them pop off the page now I took some black and white twine I just balled it up and put it at each of the clusters and then I also took some enamel dots that I made myself using perler beads I pulled out some black some white and some pink ones and I believe at this point I'm looking for my sequins because I want to add some sequins to this layout too and I went and got some black some white and some pink sequins and those are from doodlebug I also went and got some inky black Mr. Huey and some calico white and I'm almost done my bottle of calico white I, calico white I think I have a second bottle but I have to check if not I'm gonna have to order some more because I use that stuff all the time and I know um, I think it was I can't remember who it was I think it was Edith and she was saying that from the Lindy stamp gang yes it was her and something frosty white or but I went on studio uh, Simon says stamp and they didn't have it in stock so I couldn't order it but I'm keeping my eye out for it because I'd like to to have another good white so that and in those doodle bug sequins let's say if you have the pink there's more than one shade of pink so if you want to have the same shade of pinks you have to pull out a whole bunch and then pick out the ones that matches same thing with the white same thing with the blacks every color there's more than one shade of that one sequin and I love that because in one little bottle you get so many options you know and I love that so with the black one you have gray ones you have um, I think even silver ones so it's it you know in a little bottle you get a ton of it so now I'm just gonna spread them about on the layout from the bottom left to the top right to kind of go with the flow of the page and I just have you know so many sequins I want to make sure that I I start using them I do love them so I want to start using them and I love the distressed look of that background it doesn't need much but I just wanted to add a little flow to the page um, there wasn't a lot of embellishments on this you know page like die cuts wise there was only a little hearts that one card that said today and that was from the Amy Tangerine plus one collection and the, then the two little ones that are black and white with the little scrolls and then I cut up a few cameras and that's it as far as paper embellishments the rest are you know enamel dots twine butterflies I took some stars from the kit some pink stars added them to the layout and some sequins so this was a you know fairly fast page about an hour and two minutes and the biggest thing for me is when I scrap is I watch shows on my computer like I just finished watching the entire you know five seasons or whatever it was of Scandal and then I picked up another show and I watched the entire series and now I'm going to start watching 24 only because Kitty Scrapper keeps talking about it and I'm like oh yeah I've been meaning to watch that I've never ever watched one episode so I got eight full episodes eight for eight full seasons to watch plus I guess season nine is just starting so that's gonna keep me busy for a while so that's part of the reason why sometimes it takes me a little longer to get a 
a page done is because I'm actually watching something and I get into the show sometimes and forget that I'm scrapbooking so it adds minutes to the time and um, at this point I noticed that the butterflies weren't you know sticking really well down to the page so I'm going to add a little bit more quick dry adhesive and glue them down to the page and I have used up almost every single wood veneer I've used up all the wood veneers that came from the kit and I'm almost done all the extra wood veneers that I bought too because I bought the month month's worth of wood veneers and I'm getting through those really good so here are a few close-ups of each little cluster and the title and that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye